Baker, who just uh, just asked in Austin. Uh, you know, we talked a lot about stopping this Rams offense in the passing game to Stafford, but what you guys have to do in the back end, but what about from what sort of challenges is it for you to get after him and affect him that way? Yeah, uh, you definitely got to affect him. Uh, you know, obviously he's a great quarterback. They got great weapons. Um, so, you know, doing our part is, uh, you know, getting after him a little bit. Just uh, rushing smart. I think in rushing aware, um, you know, like I said, he's smart. He's a vet. So he understand where, um, you know, his escape routes are and, you know, where, where he has to step up to to be comfortable. So, you know, we got to understand that and um, rush accordingly. So. Did you accidentally hit him in practice or did he yell at him that last couple years? Um, I mean, you know, you, 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 <laughs> I mean, you, you compete, obviously. Um, you know, you want to stay away from him, but, you know, just in competition. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> you guys think you defensively to put a full game together? You see you guys play really good ball, stretches. Yeah, I think uh, just focus throughout the game. Um, you know, it's uh, like you say, sometimes we'll come out with great energy, uh, come out with, you know, attention to detail, doing all the little things right. And um, I think just somewhere within the game, you know, we kind of find ourselves lacking in those small details. So um, just focus, just, you know, uh, you know, endurance in the, in the mental part of it. Physically, obviously, like you said, we, we did it. So, you know, we're capable of doing it physically. It's just mentally being engaged and, you know, understanding that you have to do it every series, every play. So, yeah. It seemed like you guys were playing some of your best football mm -hmm. as a unit up until maybe that fourth and one mm -hmm. mix and got, got freed on the sideline. Is, is that part of it with, with a young group? Like, is there, you got to learn how to fight through some of maybe the breaking points and, and disappointments that happen within a game? Yeah. yeah, I mean, no doubt uh, this is the NFL, so it's a lot of great players, a lot of great teams we're going to get. So, you know, they're going to make some great plays, and that's what it's about. Um, you know, like you said, you know, you have a group of young guys who kind of, you don't want to ride the wave of emotion, I guess you could say. So, you know, it's an emotional game. It's ups and downs. You're going to win, you're going to lose. But, uh, you know, you don't want one bad play to turn into a bad series, to turn into a bad half, to turn into, you know, turn into a bad game. So um, obviously, you know, that's another part of the, just the mental aspect of the game, understanding that, you know, we might give up this play, we might give up a big play, but, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the, end of the game. So we got to continue to stay focused. In that, that same vein, you know, you're a guy that doesn't seem to struggle with the, mm -hmm. the waves, but, um, when it's a game like that, and the, mm -hmm. the offense is, is really struggling. I know Amani said we expect to hold him to zero, but that's not always the reality. So when it, you know, you're, you're keeping it close, keeping it close, keeping it close, and then you know, suddenly it starts to get away from you, is that another like just wave of motion mm -hmm. you have to, to fight as a defensive player? Uh, yeah, you definitely, um, you know, that's what comes with the game. Obviously, uh, you know, it takes a, a group effort, and, um, you know, sometimes, Defense got a whole majority of it. Sometimes the offense got a whole majority of it. Sometimes, you know, you need to play a special team. So, you know, it's all a team game. And, um, you know, we, we go out there and we do it for one another. So, um, you know, just understanding that no matter what goes on, no matter, you know, uh, you know how, how many points down, how many points we got to come back, you know, you just play one game, one play at a time. And um, I think that's just with – preparation and, and technique pad level things like that when you focus on the small things of practice in the game it becomes a habit so regardless of whatever the emotions are you're going to do the same thing automatically so um you know that's obviously comes with experience and things like that so that's that's how you want to play in those type of games Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know they're coming along well. Obviously, you know the athleticism and the talent has always been there. Uh, just like I said, that experience and just understanding everything. Obviously, they they took a tremendous step with more repetition and more experience they have in the game. So, um, you know, the sky's the limit for them guys. Obviously, you know, just freak athletes 
And once they get the understanding to a, a higher level, you know, that, that experience continue to grow. I mean, I see them being dominant playmakers here, so. Coach, you able to practice schedule at least a little bit when you walk through a, in the hopes of intensifying mm -hmm. practice and mm -hmm. being able to digest information more. So have you seen a difference in intensity mm -hmm. and did that help at all? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we got a, a few competition periods out there. I think, uh, you know, a lot of guys able to fly around and, you know, that, that's another thing I go back to just focus. You know, you're able to, you know, when you're when you out there on the field, it's game time, it's game reps. So the, intens the intensity, the focus got to be at an all-time high. So, you know, I think it will be very beneficial for us. I'm just curious what kind of appreciation you have for a guy like Eric Donald in a different mm -hmm. position. You have to watch it the defensive mm -hmm. film, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, a guy that plays at that level, that mm -hmm. high level that long. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously a great player. Um, you know, you watch a guy like him, you know, his, his craft, he works on it. You know, you know that he works on his craft, getting the hands off. Uh, push pull technique, bull snatch, you know, all the all the things that will come to just being a dominant rusher. So um, when you got a when you see a guy that works on his craft and you see how he practice, I mean I wasn't there with him practicing, but obviously, you know, he posts videos and things like that. So you see how, you know, how uh focused he is on all the small details, grabbing the hands and things and to see him go out there and do it in live reps is, you know, uh, you gotta tip your hat to him. So Say what? Consider him the best in the business. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's stamped. I mean, well, he got two, three MVP. Yeah, so I mean, right as of right now, yeah, he, 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 he pretty much the best. So yeah.